Okay, great Friday morning from the Integrity Station, Splash 105.5 FM. We're reporting for duty again uh, this lovely, lovely day. It's day number five in the month of November, year 2021. Of course, we're broadcasting from the Integrity Station, Splash 105.5 FM. Good morning to you. My name is Tunde Olawo. Yes, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We are everywhere. Uh, you can watch us live on our Facebook fan page. Of course, guys streaming in, you know, one after the other. The first person I'm sporting is Chigoze Okeke Ogweze. Uh, thank you so much for coming through this morning. Splash 105.5 FM Ibadan. Uh, that is the ID. Splash 105.5 FM Ibadan. And... Uh, Yes, we're good to go. We have something you know special for our Facebook community uh, this morning. We're asking a very simple and straightforward question, and um, we're hoping that you'll be the fastest to get it right. Uh, when was the last time 3SC, that is Shooting Star Sports Club of Ibadan, uh, lost a match? And what was the scoreline? Now, that's as easy as it gets, right? Uh, tell me the last time 3SC lost a match. Any match, whether it's competitive or friendly or pre-season, you know, and tell me uh, the scoreline. Of course, I would expect that you would include uh, the opponent uh, in that particular game. This morning, we have, you know, a loaded package for you. Stories coming through left, right, and center. In-depth analysis coming from uh, Faith Adedeji this morning. And I know you're priming yourself uh, to be part of the show by calling us on our magic numbers to play the game. Uh, just so your first time listener get these numbers right at the appropriate time you get on board. 0805-699-8678 or 080-9155-1055 or 070-69493000. So it is time to get going. But before then, let me welcome on board Fate at the DJ. Day number five in November. 2021 sports bank is live good morning sunday good morning Ibado. wonderful time to be on sports bank this beautiful friday morning well the day is bright and clear right here in the city and you know trust our listeners are already uh trooping in just like you said you know straight to the facebook page and you know i saw that question and i said well, well, well i mean that is one that would test your uh, your followership of uh, the Ibadan's darling club talking about the early early yes, warriors the early that's early what we uh, you know, you have to look at that and feel that. Well, uh, maybe we'll get, I hope we'll get a winner, uh, you know, from that section. And I know, our, you know, our calling audience as well. I also If we don't get a winner this morning, I think we should line up everybody who tuned in. And then, Josh, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know? maybe the day of someone, a legend in the world of athletics, talking about maybe the greatest marathon in, in marathon you know that is something really remarkable you know he has a record of two hours one minute and 39 seconds and that is something that, and he's also done sub two hours but it was not a a competitive uh, race you know, it was something to show that uh, a human being can actually do that in less than two hours and he did it you know and it's someone that continues to remain a huge inspiration for you know athlete, athletes coming through the ranks and maybe someone will feel that well the next uh, uh splash of fame uh, you know our own marathon, over here. The marathon race. yeah when you feel that the battle city mar marathon race you feel that well uh, maybe someone will also feel like i can also do something like that. we've had great uh, athletes come through the ranks here we have we've had uh deborah palm also come here it's fan hospital come here to do so well Ilya palm. Ilya palm as well also do so well so i mean a marathon is something that continues to cut the eye maybe and Sunday has also said that uh, and i think there was a year you did was it five kilometers or yes kilometer? five kilometers uh, you've so, forgotten so so are you saying that uh, you're, you're going to take the stake higher this time take it a notch higher and do maybe 10 first you need to acknowledge <laughs> that um, i'm a marathoner because okay. i did so in a marathon event even though i didn't run a marathon i did five kilometers but it was in a marathon event so that should count for me as a marathon no it doesn't a marathon has to do 42 kilometers okay so carry on <laughs> 
<laughs> so, I need to check again. <laughs> but then, you know, there's always the next time. I believe you're already crossing your T's and dotting your eyes, getting some of the best coaches out there and preparing for the next, uh, you know, marathon. And maybe you'll do 42 kilometers right there. And I'll be here to come. I'll quickly, uh, you know, turn on the mic to praise you and say that well, Tunde has finally done it and he's, he's joined the League of Marathoners. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, that would be absolutely interesting. On our Facebook fan page, it's buzzing already. Uh, I think we take Joshua. We are saying good morning this raining Friday. Abdul Fale, good morning. Uh, what is the update about Conte and Javi as new coach of Tottenham and Barca? You will get it this morning. But of course, you're asking for updates about Antonio Conte again. He's already <laughs> taking charge yeah. of the club uh, before Javi. Yes, uh, you can be asking for more updates, which you will get this morning. Olushego, Patrick, Banjo, uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, Chidex Friday, good morning to you as well. And uh, Patrick is back again, this time answering our question. Uh, we said last weekend against Remo Stars 4-0. Okay, uh, Chigoze saying against Ninja Tornadoes 3 2 or Lion Cash. They lost their last match against Remo Stars. The score was four goals to nil at your good job, good cob. Thank you for your comments. I'll be able to follow his... Okay, he's saying last year Remo Stars 2 1. Okay, uh, keep those comments coming. She to toy, muy din, or you about today. I will see you, we'll cite you. Uh, before we return to take uh, this uh, comment quickly, the establishment of a women's African Champions League is the best move ever. Uh, that's according to one participating uh, captain. Remember, the Confederation of African Football uh, made it a uh, part of their commitment. Created last year by CAV, the inaugural tournament involving eight teams begins uh, in Egypt, uh, which will start today and last until the 19th of uh, November. The eight teams have been drawn into two groups with the top two qualifying for the semifinals. Given the sites are not well known to each other or the wider public, some... Of, you know, the I have this feeling that only when this guy uh, I wouldn't get a look in into the English national team, especially with the crop of talent they have right now. And you know, maybe you also feel like uh, yeah, look at take a cue from someone like Tammy Abraham who uh, who who chose England over Nigeria, but you know, he's finding it difficult to uh, to find his footing in the English national team and he's looking at us. But you know, one thing he has to know is that if he's coming to the Super Eagles, he's coming to compete against some of the best legs out there. That is something uh, he just has to understand that well. We have a fantastic crop of talent, the likes of Samuel Chukweze in the in the team. You know, you have a particular Samuel Kalu somewhere in the team, Mosi Simon in the team. And you know, he has to come and compete. He would not come in and walk straight into the team. Oh, certainly you not come in and walk straight into the team. Okay, something strange happened. Questions are still being asked about safety procedures in Zimbabwean boxing following the death of Tarai Zimoya after he was knocked out in a fight in Arari. Uh, Super Bantam Wade Zimunya, at the age of 24, died on Monday, having collapsed during a professional non title bout on Saturday. It is the first time a boxer has died in Zimbabwe from injuries sustained in the ring. That's why some people, maybe people like Joshua, prefer non contact sports. <laughs> uh, this, this is a sad development. Yeah, it's a, it's a very sad one. You know, in combat sports or even in any sport, you don't want to lose people. Uh, you know, it's just a sport. You know, after all you said and done, it's uh, you know basically entertainment and and all that. You don't want uh, it to uh, re result into loss of lives and all that. But uh, you know, I think they just like we always do. After you know sad occurrences like this, we always go back to the rule books. We look at things that we can always adjust, things that we can amend to make the sport safer. So I think uh, it's the right thing for them to do over there in Zimbabwe. Look at the rule books. What are the things we need to do? How quickly do you need to stop the fight? You know, once the once the fighter is no longer defending himself, there's no point, you know, punching and pounding the person. And I mean, this is not, uh, it's not a melee. It's not, it is a sport after all is said and done. Now, let's quickly provide answers to Abiodo Fale asking for updates on Antonio Conte and Javi Ananda's situation. For Antonio Conte, well, it is, it's joint uh, Tottenham Hotspur, is yeah. now the manager of the club. He actually managed them, you know, in the Europa League yeah. yesterday. Uh, for uh, Javi Ananda's, well, I think uh, it's only a matter of 
when and not if. He's still tied to his club, Assad, in Qatar right now. He's got two years left on his contract. But uh, what we understand is that the two clubs are talking. That is Barcelona, the club that wants him back home, and his present club. But the interesting thing is that he wants to go back home. He has yeah. said it. So uh, they need to be able to negotiate a release clause uh, for him. But do you think uh, they will let him go, considering that you know he's doing absolutely well uh, for his current club and it's tied to a deal with them? Yeah, they are saying that they won't let him go. But at this time, that, it's too sensitive. That this time, it's very sensitive, you know, using that, that particular word. But, you know, you all, we always say that, well, everyone has a price. Uh, you know, once you pay the price, once the price is right... We're I talking mean, about Qatar here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are, talking, some of their clubs. we are talking about FC Barcelona as well. well they, are, they have a financial crisis right now, and that is something that maybe is delaying this. If Barcelona, five, six years ago, wouldn't have to, I don't know, have, have to have this kind of long discussion as regards that. But, you know, the most important thing as well is Xavi himself. Xavi seems like he wants the move, and the club will not want to keep uh, an unhappy manager in Chaton that maybe feels like he probably should be elsewhere. I mean, after all he said and done, if Barcelona should should press the right buttons. I still believe that you know Xavi will get uh, that all important move to co to manage Barcelona. You know, sometimes I wonder: is it fair that you know this this big clubs? You know, because you are in need of a manager right now, you need to go uh, destabilize another club. PSG also did so. I think when they wanted to iron Toloti and so at some point, uh, Madrid does it all the time. You know, the tyranny of the superpowers, yeah, even yeah. At, at club football level, yeah, it's just how it is. Unfortunately, life is not fair, it's just how it is. The bigger boys will always and come was building a project, <laughs> and suddenly now you have to truncate that. No, they, they can always continue the project, it might not just how be, do you mean? it, it will just be uh, without Chavi. I mean, and the project <laughs> could also collapse. Well, yes, Once it could also use. collapse, and it can also collapse even with Chavi there. I mean, anything can happen. At but leave them alone time. with their manager. <laughs> well, the manager is feeling like he also deserves something better. They've destabilized also... him right now, you know, by publicly, <laughs> you know, cutting him. It's what the big sides do. They do it to players as well. You see Real Madrid, they'll talk to the player. They will tell, they will promise the player that, well, come next summer, we'll come all out for you. Just begin to, uh, you know, cause our uh, problems over there. We saw it with Luka Modric at Tottenham, at uh, Gary Bill. It just Stopped, uh, you know, I remember guy Bill stopped attending trainings, dropped the transfer request and all that because uh, Madrid already promised him that we'll get you. It's just what, uh, you know, how it is. The bigger boys will only show that they're the bigger boys and they deserve to have the best of players and the best of managers available. Okay, Sports Bang on Splash 105.5 FM, the Integrity Station. Three teams confirmed their places in the UEFA Europa League knockout stages on March the 4th with Leon wrapping up first place in Group A to reach the round of 16 and maintain the competition's only perfect record after West Ham dropped points. The London club nevertheless made sure of a top two finish, as did Entrain Frankfurt, while Napoli, Celtic and Bar Leverkusen claimed significant wins. Uh, we need to take a break now for the BBC Premier League update. Are you surprised, uh, Fate? Jadon Sancho has been dropped from England's decisive World Cup qualifiers. But Rash Marcus Rashford is in the team. Uh, some would say back from injury, but not in the team. Well, you know, Sancho was never injured and he's not in the team. I'm not entirely surprised. Uh, you know, Gareth Southgate has not showed that huge conviction in, in uh, you know, Jadon Sancho, despite the kind of season he had last season. He was, also, Saka, even yeah, he was, he was down, down the pecking order with likes of Bukayo Saka ahead of him and all that. So, and then in, to now make matters worse, he's not been getting enough playing time right now at Manchester United. So it was always a ticking time bomb. Everyone already felt that well, one way or the other. Southgate has always been looking for the right excuse to drop Jadon Sancho, and he's gotten the beautiful ex excuse at this point in time. Okay, Salvation Joshua is asking, uh, where is Blessing? Don't worry, Blessing will be on World Sports uh, tomorrow at half past 12. And you're also asking me. How many times has Chelsea got um, relegated before? Maybe that would be a question <laughs> that will attract some kind of incentive at some point. And, um, okay, um, what's, what's up, Dank? I'm trying to get, okay, you're just, um, you know, checking us out. All the way from Joss. Thank you. Kunle Omole, thank you so much. Also, Olabo this summer, Friday, it's a Ramo Stars 4, 3 SC new final of Tyro Gujobi. Invitational. Of course, their last defeat uh, was against uh, Remo Stars 4 0. The question is who was the first person uh, to get it? Uh, from the look of things, I actually think um, 
let me see let me check again i think it's alicia go patrick banjo uh from you know what i can see here you know his answer came in 15 minutes ago but we'll check again uh, we'll check again but that's as far as i can see right here we'll take a break on the program when we return the phone lines will be open faith quick one let me ask you you know tell me that sports star who you love simply by the sound of his name by the sound of his name yes or her name wow you know that might take me some time to think about but you know i think it has to be just by the sound of the name once year cr7 i mean that is something that will definitely ring a bell in my mind for me i'll tell you karen benzema i like the name benzema i don't know why (laughs) (laughs) i just absolutely love that name and the fact that he's been a super player you know at madrid and of course uh, with the french national team when he's been given the opportunity let's catch up with the premier league updates and we'll return to take your calls it is sports bang BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League Hello, I'm Andy Ball at the BBC Sports Centre. Newcastle United are close to an agreement with Eddie Howe to become the club's new manager. BBC Sport understands that the former Bournemouth boss could be in charge for the weekend's Premier League match at Brighton. Howe hasn't been in management since he left the Cherries in August 2020, following the club's relegation from the top flight. Well, Antonio Conte got off to a winning start as Tottenham Hotspur boss in the third-tier European club competition, the Europa Conference League, Spurs had a 3-2 win at home to the Dutch team Vitesse Arnhem. The BBC's Jonathan Ledgard reports. Yes, he's a winner. Three goals to two. All the goals in the first half, all the red cards in the second period. Spurs hanging on. 3-0 up after 28 minutes. Son Mora at an own goal. Then they conceded two just before the break. Struggled badly in the second half. Romero sent off for a second yellow. Likewise, the Vitas captain, Daniello Doki. And then their goalkeeper for handball, Max Schubert. Much to do for Antonio Conte, but he knows that. West Ham United made it through to the knockout stage, the last 16 of the second-tier Europa League, with two group games to spare. Said Benrahma scored twice in West Ham's 2-2 draw at Genk in Belgium. Leicester City's hopes of progressing are still in their own hands, despite drawing 1-1 at home to Spartak Moscow, although Jamie Vardy came off the subs bench and had a spot kick saved. And Marcus Rashford has been recalled to the England squad for this month's World Cup qualifiers with Albania and San Marino. There are no places in the squad, though, for Rashford's Manchester United teammates, Jaden Sancho and Jesse Lingard. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Okay, great too. I'll be back on Sports Bank, ready to take your calls. 08056998678, Good morning to you. Good morning, Aziz. Aziz from Abelkuta. Aziz from Abelkuta. I'm going to be asking you a very strange question this morning. Okay. Are you ready for my strange question? Yeah. Okay, so who was our Facebook winner last Friday? What? The winner on Facebook last Friday. Ah, uh, I don't know that. Let me let me not tell. <laughs> let me not use strong thing. I'll pick your number. Number three. Number three. Okay, quickly tell me which club does Odion Gallo play for, and from which country? Saudi Arabia. Asad. The name again. I need to be sure of what you're saying. Asad. Asad. Anasir. 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 Yes. That's your answer. Saudi Arabia. Anasir. Saudi Arabia. Yes. Hey, my brother, you are not getting it all. Uh, uh, are you going to call for it? <laughs> are you going to call for it to help you out? Uh, no. You are right about Saudi Arabia, but not the club. Anasir. Faith. So Am I the one not getting it right? No. Hello. You just get it right. It's Al Shabab. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Quickly, your name. Where are you calling from? My name is Timbukwe from Oluwole. Timbukwe. I suspect you'll be our last caller, so you better get it right. Speak your number. Number two. 
number two. Okay, very easy and straightforward. Tell me two coaches who have actually managed both Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur. Please don't add Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte. Don't add Antonio Conte. I, I'm just, I just mentioned that. Two coaches who have managed both Chelsea and Tottenham. We have Mourinho. Okay. Chelsea and Buckingham. Uh huh. Ah. Very. And I don't know. I said don't add Antonio Conte. Your time is running out. Maybe just about five seconds to go. You didn't remember to mention AVB, Andre Villas Boas. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I think we're out. <laughs> well, quickly, our odds are for this a week. You know, men's 05 against Borussia Mönchengladbach it should go for over 1.5 goals in that one. Chelsea against Burnley, uh, you should be you know straight win for Chelsea in that one. Then uh, the last one, Leeds against Leicester City, home team not to win to nil. Okay, so. Olusha Go Patrick, uh, our waiter, this morning on our Facebook fan page. That's subject to confirmation, but as far as I can see, I think you were the first uh, to get it right. It was last weekend that they lost to Remo Stars 4-0 at the uh, Gunjobi uh, Gold oh, Cup. Uh, it was a kind of scandalous <laughs> <laughs> defeat, but I mean, more or less a precision yeah. uh, game. But I, I hope it's not a sign of... Um, Things to come. No, we we'll not read too much meaning into it. It just shows that we should go back to the drawing to board. the popular drawing board. Okay. <laughs> Banjo, I'll be expecting you in my DM with your details. I am Tunde Olawo. Thanks to Ewa. Uh, thanks to Faye. Thanks to Josh. And thanks to you for listening. Let's do this again on Monday at 7.30. But don't forget tomorrow, what sport will be right here. Uh, for those asking about Blessing for her. she will certainly be on ground uh, with are uh, the fabulous team. I am Tunde Olawu. Thank you for listening and bye-bye.